Mr. Sanborn did have a mild heart attack. I gave him something to dissolve the clot in his artery, and it worked beautifully. He's very lucky. Another half hour, I don't, uh, I don't know if this would have worked. This was very intense. He's doing great. Yeah. I gave him something to help him sleep. It might make him a little loopy at first, but then it, uh, it should knock him out. Okay. You're Mrs. Sanborn? No. Oh, no. No, I'm just... No. I'm Erica Berry. He was having dinner at our house. I just met him this afternoon. You're Erica Berry? Yes. The playwright? Yes. What a pleasure. I'm a huge fan. Really? Huge fan. Thank you. Wow. Thanks. Thank you, Doctor. Erica. Oh! Green tea. Oh, that's hot. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. This is very sweet of you. First year of medical school, you learn what can keep you up all night without making you nuts. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I heard you had a house in the Hamptons. Hmm? I really am a big fan. I think I've seen every play you've ever written. I, I think some were written before your time. I mean, there's some Marin's never even seen. No, I'm pretty sure I've seen them all. And I saw the last one twice. Julian, we've got to walk in. May need stitches. OK, thanks. I'll check on Mr. Sanborn. If he's asleep, you all might want to get some shut-eye and come back in the morning. Great to meet you, Erica. Ladies. OK. Now, that's the perfect guy for you. He's adorable. Uh, Mother, I've never seen a man less interested in me. Or more interested in you. Me? He's 30 years old. No, he's older than that. Who cares how old he is? I mean, he's not my type. He's a gorgeous, wholesome doctor, but he's perfect for you. And he's hot for you, which makes him really perfect. OK, okay. stop it. He likes my work. He doesn't like me. Well, you're saying he can't travel at all, not even by plane? <laughs> Trey? I don't think so. Been tough, huh? Well, I mean, fired his nurse after an hour. Now he says he doesn't even need one. He's a bit of a workout. Yeah. How are you holding up? Me. You? Well, I'm, uh, I'm fine. Fine. One more fine, and I won't believe you. <laughs> Wait, where's my... Thank... Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Hey! Hey, hi! I'm, no, I'm sorry, I haven't been able to get back. <laughs> no. I mean, part of the play takes place in Paris, so I keep listening to French music, hoping to get inspired. No, it's not helping at all. <laughs> well, I'm trying. It's not exactly blowing out of me yet, but... Pick you up around 7? Oh. Uh, so... <laughs> what about the patient? Like he said, he doesn't need a nurse. Can I ask you something? Anything. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 36. So I am like almost 20 years older than you. That's an enormous amount of years to be older than somebody, don't you think? Don't think it matters at all. Uh-huh, you know. I know. OK, but, <laughs> but in terms of us, I mean, you just, you just want us to be friends, right? Honestly, no. So what do you want to be? I think I'd embarrass you if I told you. <laughs> I was embarrassed just getting dressed to see you. This may surprise you, but some women consider me quite the guy. Uh-huh. I've never been married. I'm a doctor. You wouldn't believe what catnip that is for. Some women. Oh, yes, I would. It's just, don't you like girls your own age? I do, but I've never met one I've reacted to. Uh, quite like this. And uh, when something happens to you that's never happened to you before, don't you have to at least find out what it is? I suppose. I mean, I don't know. This is an area that's a little tricky for me. See, I don't really date all that much or all that well. Oh, come on, you must beat them away with a stick. <laughs> You're kidding. No. Men my age, or at least the ones I've met, well, 
Look, I'm not that regular person, and they really, they like regular. Men your age may be really stupid, you ever think about it? Uh, yes, I have. Many times. I knew you'd smell good. It's just soap. Erica. Hi. You're incredibly sexy. I'm not. I got you something great at the farm stand. Yeah. These are for you to give me when you apologize. Sunday morning rain is falling. She also said she first saw you. Clouds are shrouding us in moments unforgettable. You twist to fit the mold that I am in. Let me Julian, I, I hope you know how mortified I am by my behavior. I was going to get in touch or send you a note, something. It's... A note? A note. <laughs> That's a little chilly. Well, I'm embarrassed. I just haven't been myself lately. What can I say? Just tell me you're sorry. I am sorry. Then you could kiss me. Kiss you? You're going to forgive me if I kiss you? I think so. <laughs> no one on earth would forgive you for that kiss. <laughs> May I? I forget.